You know, when we look back at how the world changed during the COVID-19 pandemic, well, it's pretty easy to focus on the things that we lost, but some good things arose during those difficult times, like angels. More specifically, a group called the Holly Center Angels. The Holly Center Angels, this group is a, a group of volunteers with one purpose, to benefit and enhance the lives of the residents of Holly Center. And two of those angels are with us today. This is Mary Reese. She is the president of the Holly Center Angels. Corinne Martin is the treasurer and thank you both for being here. Thanks thank for you for having us again. So we kind of touched on the fact that this happened around the pandemic, but can you tell us how the angels came about? Well, the, for many decades, there was an auxiliary, a Holly Center auxiliary, and they did some wonderful work. All volunteer group, a 501c3 uh, tax deductible organization. But um, as time went on, uh, many of the members ended up with health problems of their own and they got older or they moved away and then the pandemic hit and a lot of the things that they had built up as projects on grounds kind of couldn't mm -hmm. happen anymore. So um, they decided to fold their tent and move away. But the need didn't go away. Right. The people who live at Holly Center still relied on volunteers to make sure that they remembered for their birthdays and got holiday gifts and Easter baskets mm -hmm. and um, all the other things that a volunteer group could do above and beyond what the state provided in basic care right. and medical needs. So, so Corinne, there really are a lot of needs that the Holly Center Angels are hoping to meet. Yes, there are a lot of needs and there's also a lot of social aspect too that we like to meet those needs. You know, volunteering at events is a huge part of what we do. We raise funds, but we also are involved in the lives of the residents. And, you know, a lot of our members have adopted certain residents as like a foster grandparent and grandchild relationship. And it just makes it special to make those connections and help them interact with the community at large. We've kind of sort of been ignoring the elephant in the room over here. <laughs> yes. um, you've got a fundraiser coming up with we baskets do. and bingo. Tell, tell us about this, what's going on? On November the 2nd, uh -huh. we'll be having our second fundraiser and it's going to be a bingo. So we have a good collection. We've been blessed with some really generous sponsors from the community and donors. We have some designer bags and then we also have some really nice handcrafted gift baskets that are comprised of donations from the community and our members have put together and they're just chock full of goodies with themes. These are the ones that we could transport. These are the small ones. Oh, so wow. you have to come to the wow. bingo to see the large baskets yeah. that wouldn't fit in Mary's car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's gonna be a, a really fun time. It sounds like, and the money you raise there, how is it used? All of it goes towards enhancing the lives of the residents. Like we said, you know, as specific needs arise for residents, and like Mary said, not everything can be covered by the state funds above and beyond. You know, they put in requests and we can really help grant those, those needs that make their lives that much more comfortable. The need didn't go away. No. no. The need was always, okay, no. so it's coming up uh, November 2nd, you said? November the 2nd, which is Saturday, mm -hmm. and the doors open at four o'clock. We'll have a couple of early bird uh, bingos mm -hmm. and then 20 games with baskets or bags as prizes. And they will be valued at between $125 to $250 oh a goodness. bag. And wow. it's all taking place at the Holly That's Center? At the Holly cool. Center, in the activities building, in our multipurpose room. Bring your gang. Yes, yes. absolutely. <laughs> Mary and Corinne, thank you so well, much. Well, thank coming you. <laughs> and, uh, we, we just love Delmarva Life. Uh, you've been such good friends to us. So best. thank you very much for this opportunity to talk to the community. Thank you. You're quite welcome.